like this. It's pretty much that here in somebody's office. Hopefully they won't show up anytime soon because I got a video to film. It's very fitting what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Hood Health Handbook. In about 2009, Supreme Design Publishing set out to put together a, a guidebook for the urban community on how we could basically stop dying. Because black and brown people, as you may know, tend to be sicker than the rest of the country. Um, not just because we poor, not just because we don't know how to eat, because hell, our ancestors are the one that taught the world how to eat. Our problem is that we got things in our communities that's been put there for our death, for our disease, and it's time we start looking at that. So this book went into why we're so sick, the sicknesses that we suffer from, how diet and environment play a factor in it, and what you can do to change it. Within your budget, that was the biggest thing. We wanted to make sure that it was affordable. See, SDP does a lot of books. We do history, we do knowledge of self, we even did a cookbook to follow up when people said, I want to become healthy, I just need to learn how to cook. I said, look, this is going to show you how to have a plant-based diet. You ain't got to be vegetarian overnight, but if you start eating a little bit healthy, you'll see the change. People started losing weight. People started, you know, finding, you know, relationships a little bit easier to come across because you start looking better and start feeling better. Your emotional health starts improving. And, hell, man, we're changing the world just by changing the way people think about health. You got people jogging now. You got people doing regular things on a daily basis that's going to make us an outstandingly healthy generation in the very near future. We ain't going to be fucked up for too long. And that's why we do what we do. Volume 2 dealt with the things that are outside of your physical body that you may not be thinking about on a daily basis in terms of health. We oftentimes think about what we eat, what we smoke, what we drink, and that's all covered in Volume 1. But this book was about addressing environmental health, emotional health, the health of your relationships, prenatal health, how to raise healthy children, how to have a healthy home. You might not even know how many toxins you got in your home right now, how many chemical containers you got leaching air and seeping into the air that you're breathing and your babies are breathing in. Our babies got asthma and all kinds of other dysfunction just because of the environments that we're living in. We live in toxic environments and it's by design, but we can fix it all too. And we don't have to break our bank to do it. And we don't necessarily have to copy another person's model to do it. We have our own models and that's what we promote in these books. When people said, hey, I'm ready to make these changes, now I just need to know how to eat. We put together a cookbook that goes so far as to teach your ass how to cook, how to shop, how to put together a meal. Because people need the help. And at SDP, that's our goal. We're here to help, motherfuckers. Peace. Fuck out of here.